Hey stars, it's me Carrie. Today I have a friend mail unboxing, or unbagging I should say. This was a gift from my awesome friend Mimi Wallace. If you are not already subscribed to her channel, you should be because she's awesome. She does a lot of makeup hauls and reviews. She does all sorts of different hauls. Dollar Tree. She shares a lot of personal vloggy type videos about the struggles that she deals with and I just absolutely adore her. We've been friends for a couple of years now through YouTube and now on Facebook and other forms of social media but she's an absolute absolute just genuine wonderful amazing person. I just love her a bit so Mimi Wallace definitely check her out. I'll leave the link in the drop box but let's see what we have from Miss Mimi. Ms. Mimi I should say because she is a happily married lady with an awesome daughter and this is the cutest cutest flamingo package i've ever seen in my life i so have to try to find a way to junk journal this it's plastic so it might be challenging but i'm going to figure it out because it's really 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 cute let me tear this bad boy open actually it's probably easier because it's like sticky at the ends to just snip off the end so that's what i'm going to do Oh, these flamingos are so cute. Sometimes it's just the smallest little touch of like kawaii goodness that just makes my whole day. <laughs> all right, and it's actually all pink on the inside. It's just too adorable. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, first let me feel around to see if there's a card. Sometimes there is. Oh, I'm peeking because I don't think there is, but that's okay. I just wanted to make sure because I always like to open the cards first. Okay, first thing we have here is, ooh, this looks so fun. This is a Sue A Nature Collagen Essence Mask Vitamin. It's pure brightening by, ten, it's, oh, it's, it features Tencel, the new age fiber. It says, formulated with a special blend of vitamins, provide an instant boost to the skin, brightening its overall tone while supplying it with a plethora of nutrients. This looks so much fun. Facial masks are super cool, and I don't actually buy them all that often, so it'll be a real treat. I'm actually going to put this in my, my I'm just going to say my carry-on. I'm not flying. I'm going to put this in my travel bag because we are headed to Jersey for Monster Mania Con on Thursday. Today is Monday, so in three days we're heading out, and this will be really fun to do, like one night in the hotel, maybe either before or after we go to the VIP party Friday night. That would just be super, super fun to do, so I'm going to bring this with me to enjoy on my trip. And this is actually made in Korea, which is very, very cool, because I know Korean face masks, from what I've heard, are excellent, so I'm super stoked to try that. Thank you, Miss Mimi. Next up we have, ooh, delicioso, Saku Saku Chu, Chu maybe, I'm probably probably pronouncing this wrong, Choco Treat, look at that, that looks delicious. So they look almost like um, the little like kind of cracker balls that come if you get, um, if you get Kinder Eggs, and you get the ones that come with like that chocolate cream and there's like a little chocolate covered little ball inside it almost looks like without the chocolate covering like it's almost like a re an opposite like it's the chocolate inside and the, the, the cookie cracker wafer kind of outside that's what it reminds me of by visuals anyway I'm sure it is going to be so 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 yummy I can't wait to try that I'll probably now that I don't even let's not even think that's gonna make it to my trip I'll probably eat that tonight then we have a little teeny tiny goodie. Ooh, this is Bite Beauty. I've never tried anything from Bite Beauty. It is an agave lip mask. Soothe, nourish, and hydrate. I have never heard of a lip mask before. I'm really stoked to try this. It says, apply this hydrating lip mask day or night for bright, for soft, supple lips. I don't know where I got bright from. It says champagne, natural, and smash. So does that mean that there's three in here? There are. Oh, how cute are these? Oh, I'm so excited. So I get to try three different ones. And that is where it shows you the names of the colors on the back. And again, is by Bite. I'm so stoked. I love trying new beauty products. So that's going to be super fun. And then we have... Dun, 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 dun. I was lusting after these when my friend Jen, Beetle Babe, found these in a store by her and I have not found them anywhere. Or I don't remember if she purchased them in a store or if she ordered them online. But they are red velvet Kit Kats 
and Mimi got them and she liked them, but they were a little overly sweet, I think, for her. So she said, you know, would you like to try some? I was like, girl, yes, please. She sent me like literally half the bag. I'm so excited to try these. Plus the packaging is actually the cutest thing known to mankind. Oh, she put, that's right. She said she was gonna put some matcha ones in there for me too. <gasps> so she put in two matcha ones cause she got, Mimi got an international shipment of all kinds of delicious exotic Kit Kats and she got just little samples of all different kinds and these are matcha ones so I'm so stoked to try those too. But then there are tons of the red velvet ones in here and look at the packaging on these with the little kitty cats. You got the little brown kitty and the little pink kitty. And I, I begged Jen, I said, Jen, could you maybe open one like really, really carefully so that I could save the packaging to put in my junk journal? She said like, girl, I will, I gotcha. I will do my best. And I think she said it, take her, it took her two before she was able to get one like open perfectly. And she's like, I'll put it in a Ziploc bag so that way there won't be any like contamination if there's any chocolate left on the inside. And now Jen, you don't even have to worry about it because I will do it myself. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry. You can chuck it and not have to save any packaging materials from candy but I just think these packages are so adorable and I'm so stoked to try them so there's a bunch in here look how many there are in here you guys so my husband Brian and I are gonna have so much fun we will definitely sample those before we go but we will be probably bringing the rest on our trip and maybe just maybe I'll let him try one of the matcha ones Depends on how nice he is. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, we've got two more goodies in here. Of course, because she's my girl, she sent me some lip balm. And this is called Thayer's Natural Remedies Slippery Elm Lip Balm Certified Organic. And we've got vanilla bean, which I love vanilla bean. And she gave me two of them, which is freaking awesome because something that I'm going to probably love it's always nice to have a backup of, but there is where you can see the packaging and vanilla bean. And the other one is just exactly the same. I will do a review on these in a separate video. And they are, I believe these are organic. Yes, USDA organic, which is very cool. Yeah, it says lip balm certified organic. My friend Jane would be very proud. She stresses, she gets like anxiety, I think, a little bit about the, <laughs> the stuff I put on my lips. Like every time, like I've, I've only seen her a few times in person, but she'll watch me like pull out my lip smackers and she'll just be like, oh honey, you don't use that. You know, aren't they organic brands? I know they're more expensive, but I'm like, but Jane, I love my lip smackers. So Jane, Jane will be really happy to know that at least something organic will be going on my lips for a change. But I love you so much, Mimi. You are such an amazing person. I, I just adore you. She only lives a couple states away, so we're really, really, really hoping to do a New York City meetup sometime this year. I think that would be wonderful because we both tend to be very introverted. We can be very social in certain situations, and I think, like, if the two of us got together on, like, a common ground, like, I'm thinking maybe, like, Bryant Park, because it's, like, very central, middle of New York City, it's beautiful, it's natural, you could legit just find a table and chairs and sit the entire day and eat, and there's a Starbucks... There's events that go on a lot. They do crafts there that you can participate in. They do yoga. There's games. There's music. There's so much fun stuff at Bryant Park. It is literally, if not my favorite place on the whole planet, definitely my favorite place in the city of New York and in the state of New York that I've seen to date. So I'm thinking that might be super, super fun to do in the spring when it starts to warm up a little bit. But um, we both struggle with anxiety and depression and different, you know, different personal issues. And what I love and respect so much about Mimi is, again, is just that she's so incredibly honest and forthright. She literally holds nothing back. And I think that is, it takes such a tremendous amount of courage to be that type of person, especially in a public forum like YouTube. So that is what attracted me to her channel in the first place and why we've become such close friends. Because I, 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 I try to be that way myself. I mean, as you guys know, I, I'm pretty much no holds barred around here. I share anything and everything that I think of. And the day that I become afraid to do that is really the day I should stop doing YouTube because... If this can't be a, a safe place for me to express myself, then what, what the hell is the point, you know? It just needs to be 
a place where I can reach out and try to support other people, encourage people who are struggling the way that I struggle or in their own unique ways of struggling, that it does get better, that you can get through things, that you can, you can never, ever, ever give up as much as you may want to sometimes. And when you feel like you're, you're, you're getting to that point, know that if nothing else, you can just sit and watch a dumb persevering star video, or you can watch a Mimi Wallace video, or you can watch a Beetle Babe video, and you can, you know, you can search our playlists because the, that's the thing that Jen and Mimi and I all share is that we all struggle and we're all very open and honest about what we struggle with. So if you are going through stuff, you can watch, you know, watch a lip balm review or a Dollar Tree haul that we do and it can make you just feel distracted and it's silliness and maybe makes you smile. Or you can watch something where we talk about deeper issues and maybe that will make you go, wow, I'm not so alone. You know, there's, there are other people out there like me that go through the things that I go through. And, um, I just feel like the three of us have such a tight sisterhood bond and I just love them to pieces. They are just two of my favorite people on the planet that I've never met in person, but at least with Mimi, I'm hoping that will be remedied soon. And somehow we're going to have to figure out a way to get Jen out here to the East coast so we can hang out with her too. That would be so amazing. But anyway, thank you, Mimi. I love you, my darling. And this is such a wonderful friend mail. I'm so stoked and so excited to try everything. And um, yeah, definitely, like I said, please check out her channel. I, I really think that you'll find it very moving and impactful and fun and entertaining. And she's just got such a colorful wit and she's she's sharp and she's sassy and she's open and honest. And I just respect the hell out of her. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this and please give it a thumbs up if you did. Even though I've disabled the ability to show thumbs up and thumbs down to people because of people that feel the need to thumbs down everything I do. There's no reason you guys should need to look at that. And, you know, maybe they'll get bored if they can't see it anymore. So I'm hoping that'll help. We'll see. If they want to continue to do what they do, then, you know, they, they'll do them and I'll do me and, and you now it is what it is. But I feel like YouTube should be about supportiveness and kindness and compassion. And the people that can't be that way, I really don't want them to, <laughs> to subscribe or watch my channel anyway you know it's all about love baby when it comes down to it that's everything so anyway thanks for watching guys have an awesome rest of your monday and i will be back soon with more stuff bye